This video will explain how to find and fix memory leaks in applications with AQTime. AQTime includes three profilers that trace memory and resource leaks. The allocation profiler is used to find memory leaks in applications. It traces the memory use in an application during the application's run and it allows you to determine whether the allocated memory blocks or objects remain in memory after the application execution is over. Another profiler, the Reference Count Profiler, tracks the creation and deletion of references to interfaced objects and allows you to pinpoint unreleased references. Finally, the Resource Profiler is used to find resource leaks and resource errors in applications. Today, we'll use the Allocation Profiler to find memory leaks in our application. This profiler is going to trace the memory in both managed and unmanaged applications. And in our example today, we'll use the unmanaged allocation application that's shipped with AQTime. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I've already created an AQTime project for our application, and I'm going to select the allocation profiler. Tracing of memory blocks requires minimum preparations here in the setup panel in AQTime. You may want to create class areas to specify the leaks of which class instances you would like the profiler to trace. But in our example here, we'll leave the default of full check by classes selected. That is, we're going to analyze all the classes of our sample application. The other thing I need to do is tell AQTime about the application I want to profile. And to do that, I just need to click right here, browse out to where my application lives, and click the open button. And now I'm ready to start profiling. So I'm going to press the Run button. And when I do that, the Run Settings dialog appears. I'm going to take the default settings here and click Run. Okay, AQTime has invoked my application. Now I'm going to enter the number 10 inside this field right here and click Execute. When I'm done that, I'm going to click Close. Now you're going to see AQTime generate some profiling results. As you can see, the allocation profiler results are organized into the Classes Data and Objects categories. The contents of this Report panel, the Details panel, the Call Graph panel, and all the other panels that you see here are all dependent upon the currently selected category. Information about classes, their instances, and memory blocks that are allocated after the application terminates are stored here in the Report panel. So let's double click on the classes data collection right here. And I want to pay attention to these values right here in the live count column. This column displays a number of instances and memory blocks that currently exist in memory. So you see right here, this class has a live count value that is not zero. That means that some of the objects that were created were not destroyed when the application was closed. So we have a memory leak here. So if I want to see the list of the objects that were generated, I would double click on the objects category right here. And now you can see that there were 10 instances of this C++ native memory class that were still living in memory at the time when the application was closed. So let's come down here to the details panel. And this panel shows you a stack of function calls that led to the creation of the instances of the object that we see up here in the report. So these functions that you see in this bottom panel were what created that C++ native memory.28 object. So let's take a look at the source code of this particular method. I'm just going to double click on it here in the details panel and you can see now that AQTime has jumped over to the editor panel and it's showing us the actual source code of this particular method. And in reviewing this code I can see that right here I have an array that's being deleted, but there's no code that actually deletes the elements within that array. So what we're going to do is add some code that will delete all the elements from the array. So let's go ahead and switch over to Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, I've just brought up Visual Studio, and I'm inside the relevant source code file. So now what I'm going to do is just add in some code that's going to delete that array's elements. And I'm going to put that right in here, and that command is delete asterisk array and that's going to tell it to automatically delete all the elements within that array. Okay, and then I'm going to save my project and rebuild it. Okay, so now I've switched back to AQTime 
and AQ Time will automatically update the debug information for the application model that I just rebuilt. Now I'm going to profile my application again to see if those memory leaks were fixed. So we'll just click in the Run button right here. I'm going to use the exact same settings. Again, take the defaults. Uh, AQ Time is going to bring up my application. Here we go. We'll put in 10 again and click Execute. Then we'll click Close. AQ Time will generate its results. And you can see right here in the Live Count column, they're all coming up as zero. And if we look on the Objects section here, you can see that there are no objects listed. So that means that we've corrected the memory leak. Now the last thing I'd like to mention is that like other AQ Time profilers, the Allocation Profiler can generate results not only when the application exits, but also during the profiler run. You can tell AQ Time to generate results by selecting Run Generate Results, or by pressing the Get Results button on the toolbar, which is right here. And then AQ Time will show you all the objects living in memory at that point in time, and you can see whether there are unnecessary objects uh, going on in your application. This concludes our video on fixing memory leaks with AQ Time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the URL on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy working with AQ Time.